dating in my 20s. I'm dating in my 20s. I'm 20s. I'm 20s. I'm dating, 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 dating. I'm dating in my 20s. <laughs> yes, free flowing in my 20s and I'm dating. Let's go. Free flowing in my 20s and I'm dating. Let's go. <laughs> yes, different type of entry today. Welcome to I Love BBB. Stay tuned, boo. Alright, family, welcome back. That actually was a bit fun to get off the little dance going on. Okay, that's right, clap for mommy book. Yes, honey. Anywho, <laughs> dating in your 20s is a bit different than it is dating in your 30s and 40s. If you did watch that, definitely take what we were saying in there to heart because your day is coming, boo, right? Now, the information that I'm going to give my 20-year-olds is a bit different than the information that I gave to my 30- or 40-year-olds because you guys are just at different stages in your life. In your 20s, you have a bit more time to throw away. In your 30s and 40s, that time is kind of getting short, 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 short. Without further ado, I'm going to give you guys a few tips on how to date in your 20s. It's actually some information that I wish somebody would have gave to me so I could look for different things. Jump right into it. So I wish somebody would have actually told me to have fun and just date, get to know me as a person, get to know another person, go out on multiple dates with different men so I can learn exactly what I wanted, needed, and desired, what I did not like, and the things that I would not tolerate. So this is some information I'm giving to you guys. In your 20s, find out exactly who you are. You and the guy uh, and, or you and the girl are absolutely still trying to figure it out. Like y'all just left home for the most part. You just get getting all of the freedom that you need to get. You might even be in college. Like uh, your stage is completely different in your 30s and 40s. At least for most people, right? But in your 20s, just be as free as possible. Now I know sex is going to be involved. This is not something that I really was going to talk about. But strap it up. Protect yourself. Right? Protect yourself. Anyway, so just know exactly who you are, know exactly what you want in your 20s. Uh, the second piece of advice that I'm actually going to give you is to not get married in your 20s. i actually been there and done that in my 20s. Um, and I will have to say that it wasn't that I wasn't ready to get married. It was the other person who was not ready to get married. So most of the time in your 20s, and I want to say that most of the time the woman is the mature person, but of course there are exceptions to the rule right and you might be a very mature guy in your 20s and you might be dating somebody that's not as mature as you but for the most part it's usually the woman is the mature one and the guy is a few years behind as mentally just everything about the situation you're a few years behind my fellas not trying to dog you out that's just the way that it is right um so don't get married in your 20s that's that's my solid advice like seriously wait till you like if you're gonna be in your 20s let it be 28 29 because you, you are a completely different person from 20, 21, 22, even when you get to 28, 29. Completely different person. So, con continue to date. Have fun. Don't get married in your 20s. Most people do not have a clue who they are in their 20s. Now, if you are the exception to the rule, do what you do. But most people still trying to figure it out in their 20s. You have no idea what you're getting into. Do some research. Study other couples. Study other successful couples. The ones that you want your type of relationship to look like. Go and ask some questions. See exactly what it took for them to get to the stage that they're at. Especially those couples that are always out laughing and joking. They're still holding hands. They're still showing that affection to each other. Just go up to them. Uh, mature couples love to tell you their story. They love to just throw out tidbits of information, and those are the nuggets that you need to be grabbing onto in your 20s. Because a lot of us, are, our grandparents are about pretty much our friends. We don't have a uh, big mama anymore. We don't have big mama anymore, you know, because we're having children younger and younger. And actually, I won't go into that, but just, just don't get married in your 20s. <laughs> Because somebody in that relationship is not mature enough to handle all of the responsibilities of a marriage. The third thing that I want to share with you guys is to remember that every single date and every single experience that you go on or have 
shapes and molds you into the person that you are going to be. It also gives you tidbits of information so you can see what you actually do like and what you actually don't like. Take the things that you do like, look for them or implement them into your next relationship. One of the next things I will say is, um, it kind of goes into what I already said about the woman being a little more fo uh, a little more mature. I have to say that women seem to be a lot more focused. We know exactly what we want. So if we want the relationship, and you know I'm a relationship channel, so let's go there. Uh, if you want the relationship, we are focused on how to get and keep that relationship. If we want the job, we are focused on what we need to do, what internships, what people we need to talk to. And we are just laser focused on what we want and not just one area like men can be focused in one area at a time we have many hats that we can wear to be focused in all of those areas to get all of the stuff done and dating and relationships is no different and um in your 20s the woman is a lot more focused on dating and relationships and the man is a lot more focused on his money not knocking that just let you know exactly where it's at he's probably not being super super serious about the relationship because he ain't making a lot of money and the man knows that they are the provider. We, we still know that women and men are both working, but it's ingrained in men that they are the provider. Even if the woman does not have a job, because a lot of times when children come, the woman still stay home. She still stays home. And this is not in every relationship, but a lot of them still, the woman stays home. So the man has to be able to provide for the family. So don't take it personal if... You want a relationship to go one way, and he's kind of backing off. Men and their money go hand in hand. If it is funny, if it's money funny, your relationship going to be funny. Just take those things in mind. Don't get upset. Just have fun. Date. And see if you guys can get to know one another. If you can't, move on with life, right? If you can't, move on with life. But just understand, especially in your 20s he's just now getting to see what real life is all about he's just now getting to see what him and how he's going to be as a man out here in the world and his survival so just remember that ladies it's nothing personal in your 20s he's still trying to figure out how he is able to provide for his wife and child or children and not, not, that might not necessarily be you because again you guys are in your 20s but he's thinking in the future I gotta get my money right I gotta get my money right that actually leads me into the final point, which is you two are not as financially stable in your 20s as you are in your 30s. Now take this information in. One of the top reasons why relationships, specifically marriages, do not last is finances. So in your 20s, go through that struggle state like most of us do. Now, if you already got it worked out where you making millions or whatever in your 20s, because that can happen. But for the majority, that does not happen. And, and um, the finances are one of the biggest reasons why relationships seem to crumble and fall. So just don't set yourself up for the crumble and fall. If you guys are not where you need to be financially in your 20s, you have years. I hate to say throw away, but you have years to kind of waste in your 20s. Because you're still trying to figure it out. You're not the only one that's trying to figure it out. Your biological clock is not ticking. Right? You're just trying to figure out the world in your 20s. So enjoy your 20s. Date in your 20s. Get to know you in your 20s. Get to know exactly what you want, need, and desire out of a relationship from yourself. These are the things I wish somebody would have told me to do. In my 20s, my parents actually did advise me not to get married. But the problem with it is that they never gave me a reason why. They only said the words, don't do it. Today, I'm trying to give you the why behind the don't do it. Don't do it in your 20s. Most, most, most people in their 20s just not ready for all of the responsibility that marriage holds. For all of my people out there that's watching that is definitely older than 20, uh, older meaning 30 and above, not 29, I'm just saying, not knocking you, but I want the experienced people, if they happen to watch this, to give some critical information themselves. They can even give you an example themselves that they actually went through in their 20s that they wish they would have waited in their 30s and 40s 
to especially get married and really take the relationship in and being super serious about it. Now, am I saying don't get serious in your 20s? Absolutely not. I'm just saying take the relationship slow. You two can still be exclusive in your 20s, right? If you are in a relationship, I'm not saying go and date multiple people while you're in a relationship. That's, that's not what this is about. Be faithful. Just don't get married because you and him might not be the same people years later, a decade later, who actually want to run their lives as one. So just continue to get to know one another. That is all I'm saying. Now, if this is your very first time to I Love Me, 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 you make sure that you give me thumbs up as well as hit the red subscribe button or the icon with my lovely face so you can be a part of team I Love Me, Me, Me because here at I Love Me, 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 I am supplying you guys with the tools and tips so you can have a happy, healthy, romantic relationship so we can dramatically decrease the divorce rate. All right, I will see you guys in a future video. Loving you. Deuces.